Nowadays, to help you go fast, you need a good traction control system, and that's why we're here at Davis Technologies to find out all about what's on show here at PRI for 2010. I'm here with the owner of the company, Shannon Davis, mate. Tell us a little bit about Davis Technologies. Well, we've got a traction control system that works off rates of acceleration. We started the company about 97, 2000, it got very popular. Around about 05, we got heavily involved in drag racing, and that's been a, a big part of our market these days. So, you know, the drag stuff we've done is extremely fast. It works every eighth of a turn of the drive shaft, um, hundreds of times, you know, 400, 800 times a second. We've taken that technology, moved into our circle track stuff. So starting in 09, we revamped all of our circle track stuff to be much, much faster, which makes it much smoother. The, uh, you know, the, the driver won't really even feel the system working. The car just handles nice. Um, the drag stuff, you know, is definitely improving ETs, improving mile an hour, more consistent runs, going down the racetrack lap after lap. How important is it, in your opinion, to have traction control in a race car? It's becoming more and more important as um, more and more guys do it. And of course, you got to keep up with the curve. So it's becoming pretty standard, um, especially in drag racing. A lot of circle track uh, organizations are against it, so it's, it's illegal in the rules. Um, a lot of them have no rule against it. They're kind of phasing it in or ignoring the rule, letting guys do what they know they're doing, not busting them. So it's changing, but it's, it's definitely important. Well, let's talk about your drag series because you've got a few different products available for those guys. Uh, what are some of the parameters that you can adjust on the traction control unit? Um, we have different levels of, uh, of software. So we can do like a drag sportsman, a drag light, or a drag pro. The higher level has more tuning options. All of them have an option like the starting line RPM. It's a drive shaft RPM below which the traction control will not interfere with the run. The idea being you need to get up on the tire. So it won't interfere with that, but once you're up on the tire, it's watching for a spike in acceleration, one eighth of a turn of the drive shaft. It equates to most cars to two or three inches of tire slip. So if the tire slips two or three inches, it sends out a signal to the ignition or the ECU to retard timing, cut power, hooks up and goes. It allows you to break the track up into three inch segments instead of 100 foot segments or whatever, and it's automatic, it's real time. You're not doing a pre-programmed map or a plot. It's watching the rate of acceleration in the drive shaft. If there's a change in that learned rate, it retards timing. Is it a difficult system to install? We can typically do them at the track in 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You know, it's a drive shaft ring and sensor, which most guys already have on their car for their data system. Um, we may replace it with ours, which uses a eight trigger uh, ring so for more resolution. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of power and ground and, and tying it into the ECU system, which is typically the ignition box um, into something like a map sensor that's unused. All right, so. well, if you want to find out any more information, head to the website. They've got everything online at moretraction.com. Thanks, mate. No problem. Thank you.